Hello everybody, AOG Gaming here, back with another video on, you know it, Idol Awakening. Um, last video did not get copyright claimed, I think that's the right term, so, you know, we're still going strong. Um, last time I did Orochi, so now it is Toka, um, and I have been practicing with her for a while. Toka's very good, um... We're just going to reset this so I can show you. We're going to go straight into it because I don't really have anything else for today's video. Except for the grinder that's going on in the background right now. I don't know if you can hear it. Hopefully that stops soon. Okay, well I don't think it's going to stop soon. Um, oh, it stops. Sweet. Probably will start again. So, I'm really just trying to get the last Tsunade copy. Um, and then I'll be able to upgrade any hero I want once I can get a Hien up to 8 star. Um, but yeah. Like I said, basically there. Um, we're very close to getting enough skin shards. And I do have to continue getting my skills. I really just need that last Tsunade copy and I'm basically set... Until uh, I have to upgrade my heroes to 12 star um, and 13 star, which apparently you use these things and you need a lot of them. So, great. My job, my life just got harder. Of course, it's not my job. Um, so, yeah, I, I, we're going to go into it now because I don't hear it going off again. So, that's good. All right. So. Reset the level. Um, we start with six star, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah. So we start with six star because it's very easy to get a six star. Um, you just need, I believe, another copy of the hero. Wait, wait, wait. Um, yeah, I believe you just need. Well, two copies in total, but one extra copy of the hero and then four heroes of that type. Of course, I can show you what it would normally look like. And then you need the um, five-star version of the four-star that is part of their fodder, um, which is just another five-star, but a specific five-star. And that's pretty much it. So you get Angel for Toka. Um... And the reason I do six star is because one star is it's really not going to show you much. Uh, it's basically the base potential that the hero can have. Minus, you know, cores, equipment, yada yada. Um, so yeah. Um, I don't think... Okay, well we're going to check real quick. But I'm pretty sure I did not do a Toka episode yet. But I, I always have to make sure. But just, just so you guys are, are seeing what I'm seeing. Um, see, the copyright claim is still there. So Ishtar. And then we did Orochi. I've only been doing um, this light and Idle Awakening right now. Because that's all I've had time to do, really. Um, also, this light is just getting new updates. And we're in a weird time for this light. So I kind of have to make videos so that I'm informing you guys of... Not just the updates, but the events, how I'm playing them, and how I feel like they're going. Um, yeah, I am will probably post another Macarena video sometime soon. Um, and then I have Mobile Legends videos coming up, but I wanted to finish the Astaria event first, so... Actually, no. It ends in three days, so maybe I'll make a video at least one of those days... Um, to show you so at least before it ends and um, I do have balloons tower defense 6 video coming out, but um Yeah, as you guys know, I came back to the game and let's just say I am not the best anymore or as at the best I was um, Yeah <laughs> So just just hang on a little tighter. Um, I can continue doing modern combat versus but it's a fun game for me. I, I just don't know if it's a fun game for you guys to watch. Um, yeah. All right. Well, let's just get straight into it because I don't want to beat around the bush anymore. So, Toka. Um, 
pretty sure I already did her in a video. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did a video on her, but I didn't release it. I don't think so. Anyway, I'm going to do a, a re-video on her. If there is a video, I didn't see it. But if there is a video, I do apologize. You guys can tell me. Um, yeah, because I don't think I have a single... I would put Toka in the title. Like, I'm not that stupid. But at the same time, I feel like I did... Oh, no, I think I just used her before. And was thinking of making a video on her, but then realized we needed to do Dark because we already did Ishtar, which was Light. Just... Trying to switch it up. Um, maybe after I get done with the 17 heroes, I'll switch to Science, Magic, Melee. Um, because, you know, some heroes in those areas also deserve some reviews. Um, so, anyway. Her basic. Attack plus 40. HP plus 20%. Crit plus 15%. Speed plus 15%. In battles, debuff resists plus 30% and gets 50% less crowd control effects. Of course, this is 10 star, but oh my goodness, that's broken. So she is basically not immune to debuffs, but 30% debuff resists is a lot. 50% um, less crowd control effects is like basically immune to crowd control. So that's good. And Adonai Melek. I believe that's how you say that. Kabala Malkuth. During action phase, if Toka has the fastest speed, which she usually does, this attack gets 25% more damage and 15% crit. Um, it's weird. So it's a passive skill, but she still attacks. She attacks like three times, I believe. No, twice. Is it three times? Because this counts as an attack, I believe, if she's the one with the high speed. Which, she has a ridiculous amount of speed. Uh, 1,600. You'll see not many characters have 1,600. Um, 1,630 or above, basically. That's just like... I don't think there's a single character, actually, that has more speed than her, other than Mikoto, just passively. So, just one... 1634 so 1635 okay um she does but okay so you have to put her on a team with mikoto or kurumi um and then yeah all these heroes are gonna be slow and then this guy so satra was actually really slow which is very surprising to me um considering he's like the fastest character in you know um Jujutsu Kaisen, so. <laughs> um, yeah, and I really don't think she is outshined by any other character. So really, you want to give her sluggish. Ooh, Arthurus has a lot of speed. Oh my goodness. I think he might be the speediest character in the game. Um, I didn't even realize that. Oh my goodness. 1656? That is a lot. Yeah, that is just ridiculous. Um, yeah, so basically she will do, she will attack, do 25% more damage for the attack and get 15% crit. Um, that's her second passive. Otherwise, which is a much better otherwise, I would say, she gets power release, physical damage resist, plus 8%, magic damage resist, plus 8%. Damage resist, plus 7%. Debuff resistance, plus 10%. This is already on the 30%, so that's 40% debuff resistance. Healing amount, plus 10%. That's just like an extra added bonus. Amazing. Accuracy, plus 10%. Okay. Crit damage, plus 10%. Physical damage, plus 10%. Life steal, 25%. I mean, do you really want me to continue explaining? Do I really need to continue explaining? She is just so much better. Give her the sluggish chip, minus 15 speed, and she'll be golden on a lot of teams. Um, yeah, because you just need one ally to be faster. So basically put her on any character on a team with any character that has at least like 1628 or something. Well... Actually, it can be less. It can be at least 1620. 
which uh, quite a few characters have. Um, most of them are premium heroes or hard to get heroes. However, Mikoto is not hard to get, and neither is Kurumi. And both of those characters already have faster speed passively, so you don't even have to put Sluggish Chip on Toka. You just have to make sure you don't give her any more speed. Unless you counterbalance that amount of speed by giving basically the same amount to um, Mikoto and Kurumi. Of course, it can be a little bit less because they have more speed passively, like I explained. Um, yeah, you just want her to have not the slowest speed, but less speed than one character on your team. So, very good. Um, I don't have a character with faster speed than her, I believe. So, I don't think I can fully display that. Oh, I do have Mikoto, actually. Wait, wait, wait. I do have Mikoto. What what am I saying? Um, yeah, she's right. Oh yeah, but her speed is just absolute trash. Uh, um, yeah, I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen, guys. I just don't have a character that's fast enough to like overspeed her, especially when it comes to one stars. Um, I mean, yeah, Mikoto is really the only one. Actually, you know what? Let's go to Ruin Island um, and then go to... Whoopsies. Here. And then reset level. So here's where we're all 5-star, right? Okay, cool. So maybe I will do 5-star. So we're just going to start because I feel like I'm uh, kind of just dragging this out. So Toka. Go to Dark. We go to Challenge. We go to Form. We take you out. We put Toka in. And I'm just going to put in Mikoto to see if she is faster. Oh, she is. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, yeah. And then now you see she's got the uh, power release. So. Oh, I don't know why it's lagging so much. Okay, there we go. And Mikoto is just nice on any team, really. Oh, you got Silence? That's really annoying. Come on, Toka. Okay, that's not good. That's perfect, actually. We're, we're fine. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. And now Toka's gonna do that. So I think it actually amplifies her Sandalophon. Um, I think that's her second active, her ultimate. Because um, that's why she does like the whole... It's not a chair, it's a throne, I believe. Um, with the sword behind it. Um, so yeah, very good. Um, and I have to choose a Yu-Gi-Oh card, so I can't really show you guys. So, uh, let's just go straight to 2. Um, so you guys know how it works now. Now I will show you how she works on a team that, um, oh, why, why did I put you there? Mm, so you, right, because you give more power. Yeah, okay. So you, and then, what am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't pick Toka. Okay, there we go. And then Toka right there. Okay. So this is six star, but she does not have faster. Like the characters on my team are not faster than her. So she did a lot of damage there. Actually, let's just test it one more time. Um, Mikoto might die, but I don't. It doesn't matter against this team because they don't have any death heal triggers or whatever. I just hope my. Um, I just hope the Saitama doesn't go after Mikoto, because that, that's going to suck. Ah, the bullshit in this game sometimes. Well, at least she still has more speed. So, the Sindalophon will still work. No, actually, I don't even think we're going to win this, just because of the Mikoto. Oh, actually, never mind. The only problem is that they have healers, so it really is not going to help us if we can't deal enough damage. Yeah, we're going to lose this, I'm pretty sure. Yep, okay. Retarded. 
Go kill yourselves, devs. Seriously. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll show you what she is without that because I can't really can't really use Mikoto if she's not going to be good. Okay, the silence is just super stupid. Whoever made that should die. <laughs> oh, that was insanely good damage. Also, why haven't you released your ultimate? Like, what is that? Are you just not going to? So, I mean, yeah, she deals a little bit more AoE, but honestly, I would rather take the power release. Like, just in comparison, the power release seems so much more powerful. Um, she also seems like a warrior tank. Like, she just does a lot of damage. She can take a lot of damage. She doesn't really support her team. Um... And she doesn't really have control. Like she's just a good character. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Just end it already. Literally kill the Ray. Oh my goodness. Just kill the goddamn Riku and call it a day. So stupid. Literally is not even a good team. It's just annoying. That's all they give you. They don't give you good teams to fight against. They just give you annoying, super powerful teams because their stats are maxed out and they're, they're, they're just oh, really annoying. Um, We're going to continue with this one because I do want to just see the difference. Um, Oh, that was a bad button to click. Oh, wait. Nope. Actually, yeah, it was. Um, sure, why not? Because I didn't do form. And I have to take you out. Oh, whoopsies. And add Mikoto. Why do I keep clicking Mikoto? Because um, she has faster speed. So it should show. Yeah, so there is the... Uh, I forgot what the name was. There, there are weird names for her uh, passives and actives. I just know... Sindalophon and then the Calib Calith or whatever the other one was. Wait, what? It just did one slash? You definitely took a lot more hits. What is that BS? Yeah, of course. Just always gonna get that last hit, huh? Yeah, there's some stupidity in this game that makes me think that um, the AI just will always have the advantage no matter what. You just have to outstat them really, or out um, strategy them, which is basically what we're doing here because this is all the same stats that we would normally get. Um, you do see the glowing underneath my characters. Yes, that is part of the Sindalophon effect, I believe. So, just real quick. Um, Does it? Oh, throne gift. Sorry. So that's the throne gift from the Sindelphon. Um, units has fifteen percent more crit when attacking tank and support units. So it just gives more crit to my team. Um, for specifically tank and support units. So all of those units will like basically for surely crit because we get the extra crit from Ram. We get the just basic crits of the characters. Um, so now they does not get her crits because I have to upgrade her w exclusive upgrade weapon all the way, and that it's gonna take a while. Um. So yeah, so that that's where the glowing comes from. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, and she's basically anti tank, anti support, which is like the reason why most strategies survive 
Um, yeah. So that was the glowing. I just wanted to mention that because that is something very interesting. Um, so we'll continue here just to see. Um, and then we had Toka. So yeah, you really have to have her with a character that outspeeds. And that's pretty much it. Like, she's so much more powerful. Like, we lost our character last time, but on this basic battle, we're not losing our characters because she just... Well, she also heals herself. So, she won't get healed by Rem because she'll always have more health than all my other characters, I believe. Unless somehow she gets hit more than all the other characters. Um... But yeah, uh, we have to kill that Elia. She's just gonna revive. Oh no, she's purging and healing. But Rem is gonna revive. Yeah, sorry. I was thinking the wrong thing. Taking more damage. That's good. Okay, well, that sucks. But that's also good. Hopefully they attack my Mikasa. Okay, well there goes you. Come on, kill the... Okay, there we go. So we killed two of them. But as you can see, even my... Well, I, I got the Yu-Gi-Oh cards now, but my characters don't really die. And the... Like, Mikasa would have been like at 10% health. Even with that. And that's really the only attack that does damage to her. Um. Yeah, destroyed. Here's another one. They need to add more characters that are not light and hero that just cost a hundred dollars to get. I know they're trying to make money, but it really just makes it seem like nobody should play this game because it's just gonna get shut down anyway. Um, and if Crunchyroll's hearing me, just buy this company out. Like they have already created a great game. It does need tweaking. It's not one of the best games, but it's a good game in general. Uh, it was pretty bad at the beginning, but it got better. And, like, they already have all the characters that you guys are putting on your platform. So, just why not? Uh, I don't know about Street Fighter and Overwatch, though. Because <laughs> there are also some of those characters. Which, like, I don't mind. Like, it's really cool. But then they have to go and make them just bad. Like, if they're going to add iconic characters, they should at least make them somewhat good. Akuma is okay. Like, there are so many better more better melee characters. Um, but yeah, in regards to Toka, she is just crit support for against tank and support. Um, I wouldn't call her crit support, but she does give you the crit if you need it. And it kind of is situational, but... Most people have supports, like that's just kind of universal. And like half of the people in this game have tanks, because, well, there's not a lot of good ones. Like really, you have Jotaro, Arthras, and um, Akuma is not a good tank. I, I don't care what people say, Akuma is just ass. He is booty cheeks, he is not a good character. The only way you can make him good is if you have a lot of revive on your team and he gains buffs after he revives. Like, with talents or cores or something. Because, really, he's just not good. He would be good on a bleed team with revive, because that, that just sounds broken. But, like, you have to go out of the way to make him good. So, I just don't think that Akuma's good. Um, maybe his maxed out version can deal some insane damage or tank some insane damage but really Akuma is just a eh um okay so this is two but I Mikoto's just gonna die um so I guess I can just continue showing you guys wait all oh, right I haven't cleared this yet um so I'll just show you guys oh I forgot to click my AST um her but without using the power release so now she will just do 25% more damage and then she'll get more crit so she is gonna be 
guarded more towards crit, less tanky, and not healing when she deals damage. So, seems a little bit worse, but honestly, in my opinion, it should be fine. Um, and yeah, we'll do it this way because Asuna is just a little bit more damage dealing than Kirito. Kirito is just more bleed. Uh, and we also have to kill the station tomorrow, really. Like, that's really all I need to do. I don't like the lag, though. That's really annoying. Um, and this is probably the last battle. Just to show you guys 7-star. Because I can't show you 8-star. If, if you don't realize that already. Okay, and then Miliotis is going to explode the curse. Yep. Don't die. Okay. Okay, there is some bullshit that needs to stop in this goddamn retarded ass game. I swear to fucking god. Literally just like always the enemy team just always is much better. They just always land their crits, they always land their debuffs. It's so stupid. What's the point of having all of these stats if the enemy team is just gonna ignore them except for attack and basic HP? That's really all they don't ignore. Okay, come on. Kill kill station Oh my Jesus. Fucking retarded AI, seriously. Fix the fucking game already. Why does every goddamn company just do that? Scum, that's literally all they're doing at that point. Okay, well, they're not gonna heal because Seishimaru's gone. Alright, and then we're good now, but. Really? Like, the stupidity. Yeah, and then of course he gets a dodge, because somehow he has like 50 plus dodge. Which basically has nothing, so it's just so stupid. Literally, shit. <laughs> like, that was just complete shit. And it was all because of the AI. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll do one more, actually, because we have a little bit of time here. Um, and then I'm pretty sure that's going to end it. Uh, so Toka's very good. I mean, what do you want me to say about a potential 17 light or dark hero? Um... She's good on my team because she just gives extra crit. Oh, that's going to be bad. That's going to be bad. That's all I have to say. No seal? Not on Tsunade? Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. Every single goddamn time. It just always lands on you, huh? But the passive effects still work, which makes no sense to me. Is she just turning off, like, the basic passive? Yeah, Saber is just a piece of shit. She can go die in a hole, literally. For some reason, the AI on when she's playing Saber will always get the counterattack. Like, it's just a given. Okay, well there goes Mikoto. That's good. Oh, we can't we can't let Toka die. We gotta kill this bitch ass freaking Just kill her already. Finally, kill this whore. My goodness. Apologize for all the swearing. But it makes no sense. Literally, the stats do not add up. It's like they have this other AI stat that is not shown, which is, will always get what they want when they want because they're AI. <laughs> like, I'm not making this up. You guys can see it right here. Literally the same level characters, and they're just better somehow. Always get more dodge, always get more crit. Like, my team is made for crit, which is why they're critting. Um, Exodia. Um, so yeah, as you can see, very good powerful very broken um we're actually just gonna skip um if we can we'll just do this and skip and then i guess we'll get dark magician girl and then yeah desert camp um yeah so powerful um definitely meant for crit strategies if, if you didn't get the memo um but however that being said 
just because she gives crit on her first active does not mean you have to build a crit. You can just build her as a survival warrior tank because she is she is a damage dealer first and foremost, but she can make herself tanky if she is not the fastest. Which I recommend because again, you want your character to last longer. The lifesteal will make sure that she deals well that she heals, which is really good. And then if you just give her extra healing on top of that, she'll just she'll just be a absolute unit that deals insane damage heals and is basically on well she gets a debuff resist as well so that's really good um then she gets a ton of crit damage and crit and stuff so just really good uh, i really don't know what you oh oh wait well, it's fine it's fine as you can see we passed that so i really don't know what you guys would want me to say otherwise um she's good She's broken. <laughs> like, actually, she's not that broken. She is a good warrior tank with some support built into her. I think that's why she's not as powerful as I want her to be. Unless I have Mikoto. When I had Mikoto, she was just insanely good. Um, but yeah, I think that does it for this video. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, AOG Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please like and subscribe. Really shows your support. Helps me out. Keeps you up to date with my content. Um, 76 subscribers and going strong last time I checked. So you guys are amazing. Keep going. And, um, yeah, that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always. And I will see you guys later. Side note though, side note, just, just stay for a little bit. I think Toka is a little bit better than Sasuke slash Susano, whatever you want to say, at dealing damage. However, Sasuke is much better at staying alive because plus 20 damage resist, like I said, is one of the best buffs you can get in the game because not a lot of heroes counter damage resist. There's some uh, heroes or AST units that, side story units as well, that um, take away damage resist. But it's not enough to counteract the full like 25 damage resist you get from Sasuke slash Shizano. So... Yeah, Susano's a better tank, which is what he is. And then, obviously, Toka's a better warrior, which is what she is. She's a warrior. But they both have a similar t uh, role. But Sasuke is a tank warrior support, whereas Toka is a warrior tank support. Oh, no, that's uh, that would be the other way around. So tank warrior support because she gives the crit. So she's supporting mostly warriors, but she she's supporting ports the entire team with crit um and then she makes herself a tank but sasuke is a warrior tank support because he's supporting tanks like just a, a tank in general or it could be a warrior but warriors can be dual you know can be a tank as well substitute tank um and then he also has well he's that support and then he also does decent damage which is why the warrior part is in front so yeah just a little bit comparison but definitely think sasuke is a little bit more versatile um toka is definitely a crit crit strategy c hero and um with some tankiness built into her basically with life steal so she was when i say tankiness i also mean she just lasts longer um but yeah that'll be it i don't really have anything else to say um, unless I find some comment or I rewatch this and find that I miss didn't say something I wanted to. Anyway, thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you guys later.